Hey guys, Laura with Garden Answer. Today I want to go over five different types of grow lights for indoor gardening, starting with something simple and inexpensive, and then working my way up to a more intense system that costs more money, but you can do a whole lot more gardening. I have to give a huge shout out to Gardener Supply Company for providing the lights for this video and sponsoring it. You might remember in a recent video, I mentioned that I needed to up my grow light game because I have a ton of plants and I only had a couple of little, like little dinky grow lights. It was not near enough for the amount of plants I had. And so Gardener Supply really came through and you guys seemed like you were really interested in a grow light video, so here it is. The first one is this clamping light fixture. These types of lights are meant for small spaces and for those of you with only a couple house plants. And they're also a good option for beginners or someone with a tight budget. It really doesn't take up much space at all. You can attach it to just about anything. The edge of a counter, on a shelf, a cupboard, a table, or wherever you can find a spot for it to go. And the end of the metal clamp has these grips that protect the surfaces from any kind of damage. The aluminum reflector helps to concentrate the light, focusing on the area right in front of it, making it more effective for the plants. This one comes with a six foot cord, a push button on and off switch right below the reflector, and it's pretty light, weighing in at only a half pound. There's no assembly required, which I really like. Just put a light bulb in it and you're done. Now let's step up to the next type, a countertop micro grow light garden. I think this is also a system that can be used for small spaces because it's only about 22 inches long, eight inches wide and 17 inches high. I found that it didn't fit underneath my kitchen cabinet. So that might be something that you'll want to measure if that's where you're thinking of putting it before you buy. I was able to fit mine right next to my cabinet though. So it wasn't a problem. I put mine in my kitchen, but you can put it anywhere you have a tabletop or counter available. There is a little bit of assembly required, but I found it very easy to put together. It's made of heavy duty recycled polypropylene plastic with an aluminum light reflector. It has a watertight base and an adjustable plastic hood that holds that light and reflector. And both the light and the hood are adjustable, which is so important for the healthier plants, especially if you're starting with seeds. The light is a bright full spectrum grow light. And the other thing that not a lot of light systems offer that this one does is a self watering feature with a reservoir that holds three quarts of water and a capillary mat. So a capillary mat acts as a sponge that draws up water and then slowly delivers it to the plants when they need it. You can either plant up the four growing trays that come with the system. I planted herbs in mine, or you can put your own smaller potted plants under the light. Moving on up, here's the high intensity light fixture. This can be hung from the ceiling in any room of your home. Maybe you've got extra counter space in your kitchen or laundry room, an extra bedroom or an insulated garage. All those places would be great for this light fixture. It's about 48 inches long and 14 inches wide, so it covers quite a large growing area. And its frame is made out of powder coated aluminum and it feels pretty light. It holds three full spectrum, 54 watt energy efficient fluorescent T5 bulbs. That is a mouthful. These bulbs can last for up to 10,000 hours of use and provide 50% more light than comparable fixtures with two T5 bulbs, which makes it great for starting seeds, flowers, and even for fruit production. It seems to me that with the ability to hang it, it makes it extremely versatile for most homes. It has a four foot cord though, so it may require the use of an extension cord if the outlet isn't nearby. It's best to have all your grow lights in a position where they can be raised or lowered depending on the growing situation. So having this set up on a pulley system is ideal. This specific pulley system is sold separately from the fixture. It has carabiner style clips and six foot long cords. I see the system as an ideal choice for somebody who wants to up their game from the standard countertop system, but doesn't really want to fully commit to a really large system. Now we're getting into some complete systems. This is called a stack and grow light system. This unit allows you to decide how big you want it to be in the end. You start with one system, which includes the bottom shelf, four posts, two three foot high output full spectrum T5 grow bulbs, an aluminum reflector for each light bulb and top shelf. You can buy extenders, which are just four extra posts to make the system twice as tall, which is great if you have taller plants. When you decide to buy more plants, you can order an add on unit, which includes four more posts, the lights and reflectors and another top shelf. Wall brackets also come with the add on, which enable you to anchor the whole system to the wall for extra stability if you want to or need to. That might be handy if you have a really high activity home with pets and kids because you never know what's going to bump into it. Each unit is sold separately and you can stack up to four of them. It's made of 100% recycled plastic. And even though the plastic feels super heavy duty, it's still a fairly lightweight system weighing in at seven pounds per system. That seems crazy light to me for what it is. Each of the shelves can hold up to 110 pounds and it'd be fairly hard to put enough plants on one of these shelves to add up to that much weight. They can hold three of these growies trays. Each kit has 24 cells, which add up to enough room to plant 72 seedlings on one shelf. 
The light reflectors focus 58% more light onto the plants and both the lights and reflectors can be adjusted from the sides by loosening the screws on each of the sides, then raising and lowering the lights to where you want them, then you just tighten the screws back up. These units didn't require any tools for assembly and came together really quickly. The other thing is since they just kind of snap together, you can easily unsnap them and they can be stored nice and compactly when you don't want to use them. All right, here's a really nice one. This is a three-tier sunlight garden. While this one took a little longer to put together, it's definitely the nicest of all the light systems I've shown. The frame is made of heavy duty powder coated aluminum making the whole system really sturdy. It has casters so it can move around easily which is especially handy if you have it on tile or any smooth surface. I find that super helpful because you can move it to clean underneath and behind it without having to move all your plants off first. It has two four foot full spectrum T5 grow lights per shelf that are easy to adjust up and down with these pull chains. All you do is squeeze the chain grip and lower and raise to your desired height. Each shelf has a large watertight tray which helps contain spills or watering mishaps, which I love. I love this so much because sometimes I'm trying to rush through watering so fast that I spill and I make a huge mess. The whole system measures in at 51 inches long, 15 inches wide, and 68 and a half inches tall. And each shelf is 15 square feet, so you can really fit a lot of plants in there. In fact, if seed starting is your thing, it will fit 12 of these seed starter kits, which adds up to 288 seedlings. That is so much. I think the system would work for pretty much any kind of house plant you're growing inside. Seeds, cactus, succulents, African violets, orchids, and pretty much all the other house plants out there. And I'll probably be using it for all the above. I get a lot of questions about just using standard fluorescent shop lights in place of grow lights, but this kind of bulb is brighter, it only uses 104 watts per fixture, and each bulb lasts for up to 10,000 hours. They also use 45% less energy than traditional fluorescent bulbs. Plants do better and you use less energy. It's kind of a win-win in my mind. The ballasts that hold these lights are electronic, which eliminates that annoying buzzing sound. And I don't know about you, but I cannot stand the buzz of traditional fluorescent lights. I would recommend that you read the instructions completely at least one time before you begin assembly. And while I put it together myself, it would have been a lot easier with another person, but it can be done with just one person. This is definitely the most intense system, but in my opinion, because of the materials used, it should last a really long time and it looks nice. And I would really love to gradually replace all of my current plant shelving with this system. So there are a few different styles of grow lights, and I know that there are a lot of different ones out there. There's some great options. But I thought it would be good to show you a range, like a range of complexity, of price, of size, because I know a lot of us have to consider budget or size restrictions or really how much we want to garden. Like, are we just needing to provide a little bit of light for a few houseplants? Or do we want to start all of our plants for our vegetable garden the next year? You know, all of us have a differing level. And I know if you guys are anything like me, actually, I know that a lot of you guys are like me and you just want to be growing things. You want to be growing things all year round, whether or not there's snow on the ground or not. So this enables us to do that inside. So if any of you guys are interested in any of these systems, we will put the links um, in the description or comment section down below so you can go check them out. Um, and again, I wanna thank Gardener Supply for sending us these lights so that we could do this video so I could show you all of these amazing different options. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you in the next video. Bye.